Good evening, humans. Transform Smoth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Mortal Kombat X Goro figure from Storm Collectibles. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks phenomenal, and where for certain Storm Collectibles figures, uh, even now, but mostly in the beginning, uh, especially with Mortal Kombat, they kind of, you know, retooled the aesthetics just to kind of fit more of a toy or just kind of their own aesthetics. This feels like it leaped right off the screen. Um, you know, th this is going to be very hard to film, actually. <laughs> <laughs> how large this figure is but um yeah great details this kind of feels like they use the character model from the game i mean look at the face just great details going on there those piercing red eyes uh which really are just like flat red with the pupils but it works really really well while we're here you know obviously the top knot is done really well it is just all plastic i mean the, i couldn't imagine them using like actual like fake hair for that but still really cool uh then we get the necklace and really love the way that this came out really small details going on there especially with the wrapped cord and then we get the the jewels which are a translucent plastic this really nice deep red then lots of skin texture going on i mean just it looks realistic some nice shading going on as well to kind of bring out that musculature uh then we get on to his armor and just tons of details like very finely painted rivets and the, the buckle right there which just looks like it's a bunch of arms uh, appropriately enough uh, and then we get the fur here with lots of lots of shading going on we got that we even got his red sash into this uh, then we come down to the feet and again we got so, some dry brushing some really nice bright gold with that silver and again all very like precisely painted which is beautiful uh, and then even coming onto the back we get his kind of you know dragon scales or whatever up here on the shoulders done very nicely so just yeah a killer killer looking figure we get a whole bunch of accessories here mainly hands but i mean he does have four arms so uh, let's actually start off with heads here and uh so right out of the box we do have our neutral expression just kind of a bit of a scowl going on there then we get a gritted teeth determined head and then finally, of course, we get a yelling head sculpt, all beautifully done. All the expressions have the right level of intensity, I think, so that's beautiful there. Uh, then getting on to hands, starting off, all four hands right out of the box do have the fists. And uh, we can tell the difference between the upper and lower fists, or lower hands, because the upper hands are going to have this strap across them. So that makes it a little bit easier to tell what goes where. Uh, we're actually going to start off with the um lower arms and uh so we get those fists then we get a couple of kind of grasping hands i get a couple of grips then a couple of kind of pointing slash posed hands and then finally some splayed out hands <coughs> pardon pardon me splayed out hands <laughs> well uh then we get for the upper hands we do get a couple of graspings grasping hands we get a couple of again those kind of pointing slash posed hands a couple of grips and finally a couple of splayed out hands so pretty much the same thing for both and just love that they included all that and again i do really love that these kind of upper hands have the uh the strap and the very nicely painted buckle on them so that will do it for accessories Articulation balance here are very, very nice. And uh, as you can see, freestanding kicks. This actually took a lot of time to get into. <laughs> Part of that is because of how rounded the bottom of the feet are. They are fully sculpted. Um, but also, I mean, <clears throat> he's very top heavy. So getting this balance took a bit. But I mean, because of the four arms and because you have this freedom of movement, it actually works pretty well there. So getting into that freedom of movement, get him in kind of neutral. Uh, there's a lot going on here naturally. Uh, so we do have a kind of barbell joint coming up into the head. Uh, this whole top half is very rubbery and very thin. So you can actually see the entire mechanism under there. I'll lift up his pecs here so you can see those ball joints in there. Uh, so all, basically the way it moves. Um, and it does, I can see it kind of annoying some people with how much this moves, but it's pretty easy to get to where you want to go. Um, so we can look up pretty well. We can look down. We got some excellent tilt. Of course, the whole body's moving there. <laughs> we do have these butterfly joints. 
uh, here for the top arm. So we're going that far back, that far forward. Again, a lot of freedom. We uh, come up to a Y pose. We do get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, but we're only coming to 90 because of how much just sculpt there is there. Then we are swivel, hinge, swivel here at the fist. So you can pretty much go anywhere you want to go uh, around the gauntlets. Then uh, I'm getting caught up. So as you can see, it kind of folds up and in. You just got to be aware of it. This, the lower half of the torso is very, very solid plastic. So uh, that doesn't kind of get in your way. So our crunch is fantastic. Obviously, you're going to get gapping from that. Our back is very, very good. But again, you're going to get that gapping. So you got to kind of play around with it, make sure everything lays right. But there you go. So there's that. Of course, you're getting some side to side. For our lower arms, no butterflies, but we come up to here. But, uh, butterfly joint, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows going about the same way and hands are the same. Then we get ball joint here at the waist. So that assists in that crunch. That's also where we're gonna, gonna get, we're going to get our rotation, pardon me. Uh, then we come down the hips, full splits, positively beautiful. We do get thigh swivel there as well. Our front kick, not quite 90, but still definitely respectable in that regard. We get double jointed knees, which are coming just past 90. And then our feet, we do have a little bit of rotation. We get about that much point, about that much forward. There is rocker. I think if I heat these up, I can probably get a little more range, but uh, that's about it for now. And then a toe hinge. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with the other boss type characters. With some other Storm Mortal Kombat. With some domestics. With some other imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Mortal Kombat X Goro figure from Storm Collectibles is that this is incredible. This is honestly my favorite version of Goro. The, the, the fact that Storm Collectibles has done my favorite version of Kano, uh, Shao Kahn, and now Goro all in a row has made me very happy. <laughs> uh, but also very sad because if, if what I've been seeing online is correct, then this is potentially the very last Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat figure we're going to get because supposedly they lost license. I don't know if that's true or not, so don't take my word for it. But uh, I haven't seen an announcement from Storm or anything like that. Uh, but supposedly they lost license and then the, and that this will be it. And uh, what a note to go out on if that is the case. If it's not, and I, I hope it's not, uh, I want to see more because they've really been killing it, especially with branching out beyond the original trilogy. So uh, yeah, cannot recommend this enough. Super fun to pose. Uh, I can see people getting frustrated with this chest piece, uh, especially as you're posing it around, but it moves so easily that it, I don't think it's too much of a hindrance. Um, but again, that will vary depending on who you are and kind of how you like to pose your figures. So with that out there, uh, I hope you found this, this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, I hope to see you back here because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So if any of that appeals to you, come on back. Let's talk about some really nice plastics such as this and uh, just escape the world for a while. So uh, really, at the end of the day, I just hope you're well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.